What's up? What's up? What's up? You already know. You cooking with peach. You cooking with peach. You cooking with peach. You cooking with peach. Yeah, you cooking with me. And tonight we're gonna be taking it real easy. We're gonna be making uh 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 steak pasta. Let's get into it. I wanted to cook some shoulder steak and I was gonna bake it. Then I was like, I don't really want that when I got home. I was like, I kind of want some pasta. So we're going to be using some shoulder steak. This is eight pieces of shoulder steak. So eight pieces of shoulder steak, three classic ragu alfredo sauces, two whole grain penne pastas. You can use whatever kind of pasta you want. I'm using these because it's the only two boxes I had in the pantry that match. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Wick because I got them with Wick. Yes, I did back in the day, day when I got Wick. We also are going to be using for our seasoning Goya. Do our Goya Zazan. I'm gonna be trying the Goya Zazanado Total, which is like I would say similar to Complete Babaria. So we're gonna try this. I never used it before. We're gonna try that. I'm also gonna do black pepper, some Laris garlic salt, mm -hmm, and some onion powder. I'm not gonna do no season salt on this because I'm gonna use a lot of garlic. Let's get into it. All right, Peach Patch. So I already have my water on the stove for my pasta. What I'm going to be doing now is cutting up my meat. My hands are clean. I know somebody might freak out. Like, girl, you just touched your hair. So to appease you, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands one more time. Okay? Getting some soap. See that? Soap, soap, soap. Yes, I got soap on my sink. Y'all know what I got to go get? I got to go to the dollar store and buy me... um. Some more paper towels. I completely forgot. I am out of paper towels. That was on my to-do list. But, you know, your girl be doing whatever she want to do once she get out in the streets. We are going to be using my Eat Meat knives. Shout out to the Warren family. If you want these knives, click the link in my description box. And you can order some of these from Amazon using your girl, um, you know, link. When you order using my link, Amazon give your girl a couple pennies, literally. A couple pennies, but I don't complain. I tell you to do it anyways, because why? It all adds up. We just slicing these meats. Now, I'm going to tell you about these knives. This knife is really good. It comes with a sharpener. It's a, a full set, and it's not too pricey. Beautiful knives. And they have also um, little covers on them. Now, with these knives, when you cut, and if I cut like this, it's going to be more of a struggle. Not too bad of a struggle, but a struggle. But if I cut from the back end, like so, I'm talking about one, one little thing. And look, what you call this? One little slice, okay? And I'm cutting these like strips. I don't know, I might come back and chunk these. Thinking about it, I'm cooking as I go. Those are stickers, yep. McIntyre put stickers on his artwork, yep. We gonna cut them like this, to this side. So I sliced them like this initially. But I start thinking about it, girl. You got little old bitty kids. Let's go ahead and slice them into two. McKay would appreciate them being that big, but the little kids wouldn't. So that's what we're gonna do. Slice these bad boys on up. I hope you all are doing lovely and working towards your goals and your dreams, whatever those may be. I think it's important to know like what's your goals, what what's your dream, and know like it's never too late to start. A lot of times, people think like, oh, I'm too old to live my dream. You're not too old, sis. What happened, boo-bug? Baby. Baby want me to pick him up. You tugging at my dress. You want some juice? Let me make baby some juice. And I'll be right back. Well, after I slice this. Hold on, baby. I got three more meats. I'm finna slice. Then we're gonna make you some juice. You like, girl, pick me up. I don't want no juice. I miss you. Been at school all day, pick me up. You look thirsty. It's good. <laughs> Child, baby turned one and got introduced to juice. He like, oh, this is a good time. That's what my siblings like. But yeah, I'm just gonna slice all this meat. Then once I'm done, I'll be back to show y'all. All right, peach patch. All of my steak is all nice and cut, you know, all chunky looking. This is $15 worth of shoulder steak, so. Yeah, it was eight pieces, chopped all up. Good deal, good deal. Now we're gonna go ahead and see. I'm using this Zazanator Total, the perfect seasoning. It smells real good. It don't smell like complete. It smell like um, more roasty. Let me see, how can I explain? Hmm, I like the way it smells. It smell like um, roasty and stuff. So that's enough. My ancestor said, that's enough. For those of you who are new here to the Peach Patch, 
we season until the ancestors tell us that's enough. This is my garlic salt. I'm gonna be friendly with the garlic salt today because we ain't using no seasoned salt. So yeah, I was friendly and the ancestors said, that's enough. Next we gonna put a little splash of onion powder because I'm not gonna use no fresh onions in this. You can if you want to, but today I just don't feel like it. So I ain't gonna do it. That's our onion powder. Next we got uh, some black pepper. Did you just open that black pepper with your teeth, Peach? Yeah, yeah, I sure did. I sure did. I sure did. So that's what that's looking like. And I know somebody is at home panicking like, girl, that is too much seasoning. No, it's not. No, it's not, sis. I didn't mix it up yet, okay? Uh -huh. We gonna bust open a pack of this Zazon mm -hmm, by Goya. I actually like this Zazon. I love me some Zazon. The color that it gives your food. And just the taste, oh my God, baby. It's a good time. We are gonna be friendly with the Zazon. Oops, blooper. Now we are gonna go ahead and mix this. This is the reason I hate having nails. See, I just touched that and look. I can just imagine what's gonna happen with these nails. Y'all ready? Let's get the mix, mix it. And I got three packs of Zazon, but I only use one because I don't like it to all be in one spot. I want color on all my meat. Let me mix this and I'll show you what it's looking pack like. Of Zazon, you ready? You ready? Look at these nails. I don't know how y'all do this stuff with these nails. These nails gotta go. These nails gotta go. These fingernails gotta go, go, go. They not for me. When fingernails not for peach. These fingernails gotta go, go, go. Trust over the vacuum man. Yeah, this is what our steak is looking like um on the third pack of zazon i'm just not gonna do it so we got two packs of zazon instead now i know you might be thinking my peach why you didn't use the third pack uh because my ancestors they said that's enough this is what you thought that's enough seasoning and the meat is all seasoned i came out with my secret weapon like boom in your face baby this is italian dressing use whatever kind you like i like the zesty italian um for the brands i prefer crab but it honestly don't matter use what you want let's go ahead and mix this around oh my god my kitchen smells like heaven yeah 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 get into it heaven and no no i don't use no gloves nope I don't. I really like mixing my meat with my hand away. My mama and my grandma and my great grandma did it. Over there reading, baby, a book. Right. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop these noodles in. This is some water. I put some salt and some oil. I put avocado oil in here today. That's up to you if you want to add salt and oil. Some people be like, that's not necessary, but here it is. Patch. My pot is a little wet because I just rinsed it out. I always wash my pots before I use them, like rinse them out. I don't know why I just grew up that way. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of avocado oil, like so, not too much, in our pan. Look at my steak. Look, just look at it. Get into it. Just look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this over here in the pan pot whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. now what i'm gonna do is go ahead and you know move it around so it can thoroughly cook and cook faster yeah that's the bush gardens oh yeah bush gardens all right peach patch this is what my steak is looking like in the pan now we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on My noodles are done. Let's go ahead and drain them. All right, peach patch. So now that my noodles are done, and if you're like, why are they that color? Why do they look a little brown? It's because they are wheat. This isn't the normal white, um, white noodles. These are wheat whole grain. So I put a little bit of oil, and then I put some parsley, like so. And I'm using my jar parsley. I get this from Sam's Club. I'm gonna put a lot and then I'm gonna stir it around, okay? That's enough. That's enough. Let's stir it around. You don't need noodles, I'm cooking. 
Choice is ready to eat, child. He's been trying to eat cereal, noodles, um, oatmeal, anything he can get his hands on. He's so hungry. And I had already stopped and gotten them french fries. And this is what our penne noodles are looking like. Mm -hmm. Get into it. Yeah, yeah, don't that look good? Parsley makes everything look so yum, yum, yum for the tum tum. Oh, you yeah, got the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum. Yeah. All right, Peach Patch. Now it is time to look at this steak. Steak. All right, Peach Patch. My steak is now done to my liking. It is saucy. That's um the sauce is from the zesty Italian dressing. I'm not gonna drain it. I'm just gonna add my Alfredo sauce directly to this, okay? Let's get it. All right, peach patch here, sauce number one. Get up. Come on now. Give me, give me. My money is worth. I said, give me, give me. My money is worth. Yeah, I want my money's worth. I want my money's worth. All right, we're going to get that a little stir, the stir, stir. And watch this pasta trans. Fun. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a nice little dirty pasta. Oh, I should call this the dirty steak pasta. There we go. I'm going to call it dirty steak pasta. So that's jar number one. Let's add jar number, jar number two. This is Ragu Classic Alfredo Sauce. You can use whatever sauce you like in your household. But this right here is one of my favorites. Actually, my very favorite Alfredo sauce is Target's generic brand oh my god when i tell you that's a good not peach patch i really don't have to add jar number three but i'm going to add it because i want this to be real saucy because i got a whole lot of pasta a whole lot and yeah i eat that for leftovers for lunch tomorrow mm -hmm. even if it's just pasta and sauce plus my kids like pasta and sauce over meat they don't care too much for the meat and the pasta they really just like pasta lastly jar number three Sure, I'll watch it with you. Watch it with you. So my son wants to watch Adam's Family tonight. So that's going to be our family movie tonight. And now this is jar number three. We're just stirring that around. Our dirty steak pasta. Boy, I wish I would have put some mushrooms up in this thing. I have not been eating mushrooms lately. I'm going to have to start back because I love me some mushrooms. I sure do. Let me get this all nice and blended. And the next step will be to show y'all, you know, the finished look. Mm -hmm. right, peach patch time for our last secret ingredient, which is cheese yes i gotta have my cheese i love me some sharp cheddar cheese and anytime i make pasta i put me some cheese up in that thing at least a cup at least a cup or half a cup if i ain't got enough you know what i'm saying gonna mix that right on in all right peach patch so i just stirred it around we're gonna let this cook for about five more minutes so it could be nice and blendy aka undetectable we don't want the kids to see it. Even though they like cheese, I just like it to be all nice and blended. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be ready to eat this thing. Imagine if I would have put some mushrooms, some um, tomatoes, some onions, some green pepper. Oh, my God. I should have did that. That would have been a good time. Try that at home. Patch, let me go ahead and show y'all what our pasta looks like. Okay. And we decided we titled on this Dirty Steak Pasta, okay? Let's help, Mommy. Dirty Steak, not stank. Dirty Steak Pasta. That heat get me every time. Hold on, y'all. Come on. Come on. It's the heat, y'all, so y'all can't really see the coloring. But, yeah, it's going to be fine. Let me go ahead and put it on a plate so I can present it to you. All right, Peach Patch, so we got us some noodles. Remember, these are brown because they are whole wheat, whole grain. Now we're going to go ahead and get us some, some steak. Alfredo sauce. No, you can't make your own food, baby. It's hot. Okay. Okay. All right, Peach Patch. This is what our dirty steak pasta is looking like. Now, it looks good, right? But we want to make it pretty to the eye. So, to make mine pretty, I'm just going to add a little bit more pasta. Gorgeous over there singing a song in the mirror, child. Excuse her. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. And voila, we're done. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and taste it for y'all. It's good. This sauce we got a little lemony taste. I'm wondering if that's the zazenator. It's a little lemony. Why are you 
Let me touch the Zazenator by So, peach patch. I'm tasting a little bit of lemon. I'm like, where's this lemon taste coming from? We're going to see if it's in here because it's a little lemon. Hold on. So we got us some seasoning in our hand. This is the Zazenator Total. Let's go ahead and taste it. Yep. It's like a roasted, a roasted taste, but it tastes like on my food it tastes like lemon it kind of tastes like lemon pepper a little bit i don't know comment down below if you like the zazenator plus but i like it in my pasta it's good it's, but that seasoning got like a little lemony taste so if you use this i would say taste it before you use it so you can see if you like it because now i wish i would have put some chicken and some shrimp with that zazenator and it would have been a Good time. One more bite before I make these kids play. Because they're like, Mom, the food done. Where my food at? Where my food at? Mm-hmm. It's good. One like, two like, three like, oh, nice. four. Hit a like, you like, soon as you see my videos. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl That's dope. Right. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the IK. E Y Bae, hit a lucky like and send that love my way. L to the I K. E Y Bae, hit a lucky like and send that love my way. Light, 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 light. Let's go. Light, 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 light. Like, 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 hit a like, like, hit a lucky like. Fire your girl up. Fly with a like, rock with a like. To the left, to the right, go. Like, 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 Australia better like, like. Like U.S. better like, 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 like U.K. Hit a like, a like, a like, hit a like, 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 hit a like, 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 like for your girl. Take it back to the like, 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 from the left to the right, go like, 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 like. Scotland better like, 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 hit a like, hit a like, go left to the right, go like, 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 like Africa, go like. Like, 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 like